Alrighty guys, you know we couldn't leave well enough alone on the Z650 here. We did the full exhaust and we promised you we'd do a fuel controller so that the air to fuel ratio gets all sorted. Spite, what do we have today? So today we've got a Power Commander 5, your fancy dandy piggyback ECU system. Now this does not modify the ECU. What this does is it intercepts and changes the signal from the ECU to the engine. So that's actually a very big difference. There's a difference between doing this and flashing your ECU. So if you're using those interchangeably, stop it. But I also see something over there on the table that I really hope we're not installing today. Uh, yeah, don't worry, that's going on. That other bike you may have heard about in our <laughs> shop. Maybe, you, I think you heard about it, right? Yeah, I think, I think you guys I've might heard have heard about, about it too. Yeah, the little, little turp ski over there going on the Busa. Hit subscribe, million subscribers, we're gonna put it on. Yeah, just, just so you guys, just so you know. Anyways. Fuel controllers and ECU flashing, like Spite said, is very different. The way it's been described to me is that flashing the ECU is like getting LASIK and putting one of these on is like wearing glasses. So you're not making a super fundamental change to your motorcycle. What we're doing is intercepting the signals and making sure that the air to fuel ratio, which is the most important thing that changes when you put a full system on a bike, is gonna be correct. So we've got a couple things we're gonna be installing on here. It's gonna intercept signals at the fuel injectors, the crankcase, the throttle position, and I think a couple other ones on there that I don't recognize. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what all of them do, but we've got the instructions sitting over there on the table. Um, and I think it is worth pointing out that if you're thinking about going down this road with a piggyback ECU, this is 100% reversible. So let's say, for example, you have a warranty and this would void it. You can install it and then if you have an issue, remove it from your motorcycle, set it back to stock, and then take it to the dealership. No one's the wiser. Mm -hmm. So. This is something that's better for your street applications. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, the first task whenever you're installing something on your motorcycle is rip it apart. So let's begin. Time for a montage. And just like that, through the magic of editing, the montage is complete and the bike is torn down. So we've got the fuel tank off, the air box off, the side covers off, a bunch of connectors undone. And that was to get access to these two things right over here. Despite that wasn't too bad, was it? No, I mean, it's there's a lot of stuff that you gotta remember where it goes. So if you're doing this as like a multi-day project or you're gonna go take grab photos. some lunch, take photos. Um, getting the air box back on will be a little bit of a challenge, but hey, whatever, it'll, it'll get done. Now we just need to find all the right connectors and there are a lot of them in here, so definitely read the directions. Yep, first one we're starting with is the ground on this PCV little uh, harness here, so let's get to it. guys so we have gone through and intercepted all the signals we needed to with the PCV so we went through and did our injectors our throttle position sensor our crankcase sensor and then these coils up here to the spark plugs as well so that's going to allow the piggyback ECU to modify certain parameters on the bike and give us that treasured air to fuel ratio that we are looking for it's probably a pretty easy job right just plug and play yeah you just need to be careful uh when you're doing this don't you know, go all cowboy and just do whatever you want. You need to make sure that you're plugging in the right wires to the right connectors. So even though these are both crank sensors, one's left and one's, or not crank, uh, coil sensors, one's left and one's right, and the directions tell you, you know, green is your left and blue is your right. Read the directions, otherwise you're gonna goof something up and it just won't run. Yeah. Or it's gonna be doing bad, it's gonna, it's bad problems if you, hook the sensors up to the wrong ones. Yeah. Best case scenario, it just doesn't turn on and run. Worst case scenario, you grenade your engine. So kind of a wide variance there. But now we're gonna plumb this all back up and then hook it up to the computer and uh, do some danger manifold stuff and uh, get all up in there.
course, we have gone with the orange zip ties here to just maximize Kyle energy, fusing KTM and Kawasaki all in one. We're gonna see if it goes any faster. Alrighty guys, we have plumbed everything back up here and miraculously got every single bolt back in place for all the little fairings. Uh, I think that's a first here at the old Yammy Noob exhaust and tail tidy shop. Yeah, sometimes it turns into like an Ikea kit where a couple of <laughs> bolts are left over or we have to dig into the bucket of bolts, but this time every bolt went back exactly where it was meant to. And Beautiful. Now I guess it's just time to get this thing off the lift and start tuning it. That's right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plumb it up into the dyno jet over here, plug it into the computer, make sure everything's reading it correctly, load up a new map, and then see how it feels. Alrighty guys, so this is the DinoJet software that is provided with this little DinoJet Power Commander 5 unit. And as you see here, we got some uh, metrics over here that is related to the motorcycle. Whenever Spike turns the throttle here, you can see that we're already reading the throttle position, which means that our sensor is working correctly. And what we're going to do now is send a map to this motorcycle that will fix the air to fuel ratio. So we're going to go here to open map. I've got it labeled as the Ninja 650 exhaust map. It's a Leo Vinci Evo 1 full exhaust, which is the exact same system we have on the bike right now. I'm going to click open. And we're going to send that map to the bike. It says map was sent successfully. So now we're going to turn it on and see how it goes. All righty. You ready? Yep. Reading our RPM. So we got our RPMs being read here. Throttle, duty cycles. Sweet. All right, guys, as you saw, it was a pretty easy install today. Just have to make sure you plug everything up correctly, sent the map to the bike. Everything looks to be working well. And now we're going to wrap this video up and get it out on the road. We'll see if it's any more exciting to ride. Yeah, my one hope is that it fixes the on-off throttle feel. I'm dubious that it's going to do that, but if, that, if it solves that, this bike is going to be very nice. All righty, guys, we are out here with the Z650, fresh with its brand new fuel controller on there and i've actually already started to gather a lot of thoughts in the few miles that i've already done on it um it has made a difference i don't think it's as substantial as i would have liked but let's have a quick little chat about what it actually did and more importantly what it didn't do does sound pretty good without the baffle, but I mean, it is a big parallel twin. They're not exactly the, the fanciest motorcycles in the world. And you'll notice that I am out here by myself. Yam's actually filming something else currently. So we're killing two birds with one stone, kinda, sorta. Uh, one more thing I do wanna say before we get too far into this is the weather has been crap today and the streets are very slippery and these tires are not that great so i will not be pushing it because i don't want to yeet this bike into a corner it's just not worth it now talking about changes with this motorcycle first things first it runs fine it runs totally fine sometimes you put a fuel controller on and you get you know check engine lights or all that stuff everything's buttoned up and you know the bike is in tip-top shape and most importantly, I am feeling a little bit more punch out of this bike. It's definitely a lot rowdier, especially when you get further up towards the top since we took the baffle out. Getting a lot of air going. Once it gets towards the top, it starts being a little bit of fun. It's, uh, it's really helped the bike kind of wake up and come alive. Do I think it's transformed the bike? No. If you're getting a bike like this and you don't have the option to get a slip-on, you're really not going to notice that big of a difference uh, by putting a fuel controller on if you have a full system. You're just not. However, let's talk about the one thing that it didn't do before we get too far into this. Um, my biggest gripe with this motorcycle is its on-off throttle feel. I cannot stand the way the Z650 feels coming on and off the throttle. It's herky jerky as all get out. Especially, let me slow down a ways and really show you. First gear, it is just 
it is awful on and off the throttle. It's, I, I'm not sure if that's coming through in the video, but if it's not, I would be surprised. It is the jerkiest motorcycle I have ever ridden in first gear. And I was desperately hoping that this was going to solve that problem, and it didn't. So, if you're out there and you're a Z650 owner and you're like, I want my, I want the throttle to be smoother. I want the on-off throttle feel to smooth out. So I'm going to get a fuel controller to adjust my map. This will not do that. It just, it just won't, which is a huge disappointment for me. I'm not going to lie. Now, beyond the on-off throttle feel, I, you do notice a substantial power gain. Um, it's... I would say if I had to butt dyno it, probably, mm, probably like two or three at the wheel, uh, which which is pretty good for a stock airbox and just a full system and a fuel controller. That's not that bad. It definitely feels like it's punching a lot harder. It's definitely more rewarding to rev the bike out now. But you know, it's a parallel twin, the 180 degree crank. It's not going to change the sound of the motorcycle, it's not, I don't know. Do I think all of this effort was worth it on this motorcycle? Eh, not really, I, I don't. Um, it's nice, it's a good change, it's a way to customize it and make it your own, but if you're out there thinking you're going to make some sort of big power out of your Z650, you should go back to the drawing board and I, I hate saying it, but perhaps consider a different motorcycle if you're trying to make more power out of a Z650. Um, the, the money that you would dump into trying to make this feel a little bit more like an intermediate motorcycle is better spent just on an intermediate motorcycle. But if you're a beginner and you want to get your feet wet on some of this stuff, you want to start going out there and tuning your motorcycle, you want to go make it yours, do some bigger modifications. I think this is a totally safe sort of modification for any beginner to do. Assuming you have time and patience, do not rush this process. Really don't rush it. Um, installing this, you need to be extra super duper careful that you're doing everything right and everything by the book. But it's a totally doable process. You can do it in an afternoon. Maybe if you're a little uncomfortable, get a buddy. Uh, if you don't have a buddy, watch a YouTube video. Watch this YouTube video. But totally, totally doable. And honestly, one of the ways that I would recommend getting super familiar with your motorcycle if you don't want to do all the big maintenance items on it. Power commanders are easy. They're reversible. It's not like flashing your motorcycle where you need to you know, either send your ECU off and have somebody write new code on it or anything like that. This is just intercepting and changing signals as you ride. And hey, it's not, the, it's not the best way to make power, but for street applications, it's the perfect way to make more power. So I'd say this is, this is less of a must do mod and more of a nice to do mod, you know, something that is fun, a good way to make your bike feel a little bit more peppy if it's feeling a little slow to you. Definitely not transformative. What would be transformative, and I've seen a lot of people on the Discord recommend doing this, there's this kit that you can put on the bike to help the on-off throttle feel. I forget what it looks like, um, and I, I, I have no idea, but a, a Google will tell you what it is. It's just this little thing that you plug into the motorcycle. It helps tune it just a little bit different. And that is supposed to really smooth out the on-off throttle feel. And if this were my bike, I would have to do that mod. Because boy oh boy is the on-off throttle feel on this savage. So I would certainly, certainly do that one. And then after you've done that, get your exhaust and your power commander. Because at the end of the day, it's not a big change on this bike. And, you know, you'll notice that more and more if you do power commanders on a lot of different motorcycles. Is they don't make a massive difference in terms of power. What they do is they help you change 
the way your bike rides. Uh, I find Power Commanders most useful at lower RPM where you're having some sort of closed loop system or you have just stupid lean AFRs from the factory. That's where a Power Commander comes in handy. And it's it's really just a street tool. You're not, you could use it as like a race thing, but whatever. Um, if, you, if you're really gonna go down that route, it's better to just get a flash. So, thoughts, final thoughts on the Power Commander. I would give it a thumbs up, but a qualified thumbs up. Only do it if you are desperate to do something to your motorcycle and you want to get your feet wet and you want to make you don't want to make a big improvement but you want to just help it out a little bit get the butt dyno effect going because it does feel faster not by much but a little bit so qualified thumbs up this was definitely a success on this motorcycle in my opinion probably not for everybody though and with that in mind remember if you want to win this motorcycle now that it's all tuned up and ready to rock and roll we actually did a lot of mods to this thing between the lights and the exhaust and the power commander and all that stuff this thing is ready to rip and if you want to win this motorcycle click the link in the description below go to yamminoop.co check out all of the giveaway stuff we've got a bunch of different motorcycles we're giving away right now and if you don't want to sign up to win there you can go to yamminoobmerch.com, get yourself a hat, a t-shirt, whatever you want. Every dollar you spend is an entry to win this bike. Now with all that being said, I'm going to get this bike back to the shop because it is cold and freezing outside and I want something warm to eat. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep watching Yammy Noob. 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 Keep watching Yammy Noob.